And right now at 5, this just into our newsroom. Disturbing allegations an employee at a child advocacy center accused of inappropriate behavior with a child. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tracy Hutchins. And I'm Rick Fulbaum. Atlanta News First anchor Joy Lynn Nakram joins us now. And Joy, these details are just breaking. What do we know? Well, we have really some disturbing stuff here that we're talking about, Rick and Tracy. A man supposed to help children at a youth shelter now charged with sexually assaulting at least one of them and making matters even worse. Shelter leaders are accused of covering it all up. Clayton County Police Department's Human Trafficking Unit started investigating after an anonymous tip about sexual misconduct at Rainbow House in Jonesboro. After investigating, they determined employee 25-year-old Caleb Randolph on the far left had inappropriate conduct contact with at least one child there. He is now charged with child molestation, statutory rape, and two counts of sexual assault. His mother, executive director Mia Chanel Kimber in the middle, along with program director Monica Jones on the right, allegedly knew of the misconduct yet hid it. They are both charged with being a party to child molestation, statutory rape, sexual assault, and many other charges as well. Now, child molestation is a very serious felony in the state of Georgia, carrying a sentence of up to 20 years in prison. The other counts also carrying hefty sentences as well. So, of course, we're going to keep following all the latest developments on this breaking story. Rick and Tracy.